À tous de TDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage Vulcain. Allumage des étages d'accélération à poudre et décollage. And here it is, hauling itself, again, gravity of Earth, nearly 780 tons, uh, the equivalent of two jumbo jets. Uh, so after initial six second vertical climb and after rotation to the east, uh, Ariane is heading out over Atlantic Ocean. So she's burning uh, its three engines, two on boosters plus the one on the main stage. Uh, actually, boosters are doing all the work over here and their job is to get us away from the Earth. So they need a lot of firepower to push us against gravity and they are providing 90% of the thrust right now. So they are going to work about two minutes and each booster is going to burn about two tons of propellant a second, which is a lot, but this will allow Ariane to quit the atmosphere as fast as possible. So all eyes now are on the screen uh, because you can see the trajectory. Ariane 5 is sending signals to the ground station to tell us about its status. So this screen is showing us those important parameters. The curve is representing the computed simulation of the trajectory and the white spot on the curve is the actual position on the launch vehicle. And there are two Par other important things uh, that you should keep your eye on. There's uh, the V uh, representing the velocity or speed, but also the A which is the altitude. And just right now, you can see that you are about 69 kilometers above the Earth, and Separation you have a speed of 2 kilometers per second. They have now burned all their propellant. We do not need them anymore, and we are losing weight. So actually, we have lost about two-thirds of our weight. And of course, the lighter we are and the faster we go. So the fairing uh, that we were talking normal. just before is at the very top of the vehicle. Uh, it's protecting the satellites from the rigors of the launch because you have uh, at liftoff those huge acoustic levels which are extremely loud. But uh, we also have a flux or friction because Ariane is flying through the atmosphere which is very dense. And generally, once the boosters are transitioned, 50 seconds later, you have the separation of the fairing. And here it is. You can see those beautiful images on your screen. So now Captain has switched off the seatbelt signs. Uh, we are technically in space. There's no more friction. It took us only three minutes to get into space. And we are burning right now the main stage. Uh, the core stage, which is going to burn for nine minutes, and it's powered by the Vulcan engine, which is extremely powerful, and like the upper stage, is a cryotechnic stage, which is burning about 322 kilograms a second of liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. So the job of uh, the second stage is to put the upper stage into what we call an intermediate orbit. So to give you some other facts about um, the Vulcan engine, we can say that uh, this motor was built in Vernon, in Normandy, uh, which is in France. So we are now heading out across the Atlantic. Um, we continue our long journey. And here is Kourou, just north of the equator. And the flight path takes us virtually along the equator. We are climbing in altitude all the time. And, you know, uh, it's a really good position to launch from, to be near the equator. So today um, is the second launch this year for Ariane, and it's also 
the 51st launch for Ariane 5. And there's no question that the last few months have been really busy for the men and women at Ariane Space. So let's catch up now with the latest news. For its first launch of the year, Ariane...